Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are going to talk vacuum cleaners. And I'm going to let you know that in my household, which we have two how two condos, my condo and my mom's condo, we have three vacuums in total. Yeah, that's a lot of vacuums. Do we need three vacuums? Probably not really. And I'm going to let you know that we know for certain that one of the vacuums is going to go. But you're going to have to figure out which one. Now in this video I do have one which vacuum which was uh, given to me to test out. I have two vacuums which I've bought myself. And so you're going to have to try to figure out which one I'm going to get which one I'm going to get rid of. Let me tell you what I've got. I have the Shark Navigator. I have the NC cordless stick vacuum and I have an uh, Roomba or iRobot vacuum. All three have, we have used this week. All three have been used quite extensively. So now which one do you think I'm going to get rid of? Well let me explain what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and that might give you more of a clue. Let's start off with the one that I personally use a lot, and I mean I use this a lot, which is my Roomba or my iRobot. The cool part about this is the fact that I can go over to mom's house and then using my uh, assistant, I can have it and I do mean my Google Assistant, not like I have a personal assistant or something. I can turn it on from over there and let it go. It will go and it will do its thing, vacuuming, cleaning up the corners, all those wonderful things, and it is really cool. Then we have our cordless stick vacuum. That one I use quite a bit because I use it more like a broom. Whenever I'm going to use a broom, I just get out the cordless stick vacuum and sweep things up. It is so easy and so quick to do things with. And what's interesting about that is it's actually powerful enough to use as a vacuum. Like a normal vacuum, 100% you can vacuum up your house with it. Yeah, it's true. Then we also have the Shark uh, Navigator Uplift. <laughs> And that is a regular vacuum. It has all the attachments, all those wonderful things. But let's talk about them. Let's really get down into the nitty gritty of this. The iRobot that I have is not, I repeat, it does not do any sort of mapping. It does not do any sort of that. It has a random pattern that it just goes in so that it can clean up your house which can be absolutely frustrating. If you are going to get an iRobot or a Roomba, I would highly suggest something that can map out your uh, area, so that way you can tell it where you want it to clean. However, those are very expensive, and I mean they're way more expensive than what I can actually get right now. Hey, if this channel keeps doing well, we can do more of an in-depth review on that, but right now, the robot that I have, it was affordable. It does do exactly what I want it to do, which is clean while I don't have to pay attention to it, and let it go. I do make sure that all of the cords are up, all of the furniture that I need it that I need to move, I move out of the way, and then I let it go. Now, what's interesting about that is since it does not have any sort of tracking or any sort of mapping, when I tell it to dock, it can take just as long as it took to clean up the how clean up the room because I do it room by room. If it can take just as long for it to clean up as it did for it to get back to its dock, that can be super super frustrating. Now it does have an app which lets me know about the battery life. It does have an app to let in the, on the app. It will tell me if it needs help or anything. But I'm going to tell you right now, if, you're, if your Roomba or your robot vacuum cannot map things out, it can be super, super frustrating for it to go back to its dock because you think it's going to get there, and it won't. 
It's sad. Next up, we're going to talk about my shark, which if you remember me doing my cleaning videos, I use that extensively. It is just a regular vacuum. It has all the regular vacuum attachments. It has a cord. You plug it in, you go, and you sweep. It has a cord. Remember that. It has a cord. Now, the nice part about this is it does have a very big uh, vacuum canister, so you can vacuum quite a bit. It is for pets. I have a pet. She likes to shed. And when she sheds, hair gets everywhere. The Roomba is also for pets. It can pick up all that hair. The stick vacuum is also for pets. It can pick up all the hair. So all of those are equal that way. However, the cord is an issue. The cord is something which you have to manage. You have to move out of the way. It can be something which for some people are like, oh, I don't like the cords. Other love the cords. I don't know. It is up to you. It is not my favorite thing to have to do the cord dance. Not my favorite thing at all. Let's talk about the stick vacuum. The stick vacuum has all of the power that a vacuum does. It is supposed to be able to, char to hold a charge or cleaning for 45 minutes. I've never found that to be the, to be actually true. However, when I clean, I'm usually on high power, so it cleans for about 25 to 30 minutes on high power for me and it cleans wonderfully. It gets all the hair up, it just goes everywhere. It's small enough that when I take off the attachments and switch things around, I can get under things, I can get all of those corners. It does everything that my upright vacuum can do and it's lightweight. Here's where this gets interesting. If you've been following the channel, you know that mom broke her arm and it was a severe break. And one of the things that she could not do was vacuum. So you're thinking to yourself, well, you're just going to take the robot vacuum and put it over there. Well, no. Her dog does not care for the robot vacuum. So that was not even like mildly something that could happen. So then the next thing is, well, okay, so since she can't hold anything, you're saying you would take over the upright vacuum. Well, yes and no. The upright vacuum still has the cord, and the cord is a tripping hazard, even though she is very steady on her feet. And it is actually sort of heavy. Not really heavy, because most of the weight is literally on the vacuum wheels itself, but it still has some weight. Oddly enough, the stick vacuum is the vacuum of her choice because it's light. It's super light. She can get everywhere with it, just maneuver in and out of things, and she likes it. She lets it charge up and she says, since she's now just trying to get back into the full swing of things, she is doing it room by room and so the charge, the charge level does not bother her at all because she's not cleaning the entire house. I personally think that we could do the entire house with a 45 minute charge, no problem. I like it because I can clean off my computer, I can get the pet hair off the ottoman. What more out of life could one want? I mean, I think this is great simply because it is super lightweight, but super strong. I've had no problems with it anything, with anything. The only thing I will warn you about is it has a hair trigger. You will find that sometimes if you're picking it up, you will hit the trigger and sometimes that might startle you, but that's neither here nor there. It does not take very long for it to charge at all, which I also like. Uh, it has, it comes with its own clip, so you can hang it up when it's charging. I personally am not a big fan of the clip. I do just like to have it laying down when it's charging. Or, I mean, I just like it to have it so that I can just go pick it up and run with it. Because believe me, wherever I would have used a broom, and that's not even 100% true. There are lots of times where I would have gotten out the vacuum. I don't even think about getting out the vacuum now because the cordless vacuum is a vacuum. Don't let other people fool you with the whole, well, it's not a vacuum because it's just, no, it really is. It does really well. It sucks up all the dirt that I need it to. I'm impressed. I really honestly am impressed with it. I am so happy that they let me try this out because it works. It works really well. And I'm not just saying that because, like I said, I have three vacuums now and one of them's going to go. Which one is going to actually go, you're probably wondering. 
Well, you, some of you might have figured it out. If you thought the shark, you're right. The shark is probably going, well, in fact, the shark is going to go. Simply because it's cumbersome, it does a really nice job, but it's still heavy. There are lots of things that I can't do with the shark that the cordless vacuum that I can do. And then with my place, I just love letting the Roomba go and letting it do its whole thing, and that's just wonderful. However, when it comes to spot cleaning, it, while it can spot clean, I'm literally just instantly reach for the cordless vacuum and just spot clean, no problems, empty it out. That's the best thing. Now, when it comes to emptying these things out, they are very straightforward. All of them hold enough, hold to have enough uh, storage storage, I guess you'd say, enough space so that it will totally clean a room. If you're expecting to clean more than one room with the Roomba and you have a dog that sheds a lot, not happening. That is absolutely not going to happen. When when with, with the dog is shedding a lot, I can do one room before it needs to be emptied. Still not a problem. Uh, you can also get replacement parts easy with that so that you can replace the little uh, the little whisk that goes into the corners, no problem. The cordless vacuum, it just, I mean, it holds enough so you could do, I can do, think, two and a half rooms with that before it has to be emptied. Um, it is just wonderful. Does pet hair, does the ottoman. It goes small enough that I can actually move it around with one hand on the ottoman, get into all of those places, of course, the upright vacuum I can do my place and mom's place without having to empty it. Uh, that's always a bonus, but I do like the smaller vacuum. I think the smaller vacuum makes me want to vacuum more, and that's the other thing I found. I am vacuuming a heck of a lot more with the cordless vacuum than I ever did, simply because, like I said, if there's, I was going to use a broom, grab the cordless vacuum and no broom needed, no dustpan, no any of that. I can just go and I can also clean the carpets, do the whole nine yards that I wouldn't have with the, uh, with a broom. So it wins. It wins hands down. If I were to do this again, would I invest more money in a uh, Roomba or an iRobot that can actually map things? Yes. Yes, I would, a hundred percent. And they even have those that you only have to, that they they clean themselves out and then they empty themselves into a container. And like I said, if you want to help support this channel so that uh, we can do a review of that, I'm I'm all for that. Let, let, let's, you can you know, support this channel. You can check out Patreon. You can become a member. You can even do an applause because it'll be one of those things that I will I would love to do. Also, if you would like to see me do more of an in-depth, like, how to clean your vacuum, let me know down in the comments. Uh, it's one of those things where each vacuum is slightly different, and that's why I didn't go into this in this one, because I really wanted to give you an overview. But my two winning vacuums, I'm going to stress this, my two winning vacuums are the stick vacuum and the iRobot, simply because... I do. I really love them. I'm using them all the time, and they really work well. They, they never told me to say any of that, so that's the cool part about that. I'm, I'm loving it. Well, I'd like to know about you. What vacuums do you have? Do you like them? Do you not like them? What don't you like about them? Not having a cord is one of the greatest things on the face of this planet. I'm letting you know this right now. I'm letting you know. I hope you enjoyed that, and let me know what you thought about that down in the comments, and I hope I get to see you the next time you stop by.